bro, Shannon, you're going to make some folk mad. I'd rather get you mad and you leave this than you go to hell. Amen. Preach, brother Shannon. Amen. I'd rather make you mad here. You obey the gospel over here and you stay, stay mad and stay over there. A lot of people glad over here. You don't want to die over here. Right. Amen. Amen. I preach it. Amen. All right. How to become a child of the devil? Hear a lie, obey a lie, accountable people are condemned. It's that simple. Right. Let's go over here. In Galatians 3, 26, 27. Let's look at it. That good? good. Amen. Amen, somebody. Good. All right. Amen. Galatians 3, 26. <clears throat> Brother Fox, read it. For ye are all the children of God. Read it. By faith in Where? Christ Jesus. Where? Where? In Christ Jesus. Where? In Christ Jesus. Freedom in Christ. Children of God in Christ. Amen. Wait a minute. Where are the children of God? In, in Christ. Christ. When you're in Christ, you got freedom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean freedom? You have remission of sin. Oh, boy. You want remission of sin? You got to be over here. Mm -hmm. For you all the children of God, read it. By faith. Hold it. It ain't by feelings. Don't talk about what you feel. Mm -hmm. All the children of God, by faith, not mm -hmm. feeling. Right. I feel like holy. You're going to show sure not be messed up. Where's Rico at? I thought I saw Rico. Where's Rico? He gone? I don't see him. Raise your hand. Oh, he back there. He's in the, he was in the Marine Corps in the air traffic control. And these guys flying at night. The planes, you know what they depend on? They don't depend on where they feel. They look in their cockpit and look at all those instruments. I don't care if it's raining, it's snowing, don't make no difference. You better look at those instruments. Is that right, Rico? Is that right, Thomas? Well, I look here. I can't see out here. I think it's over. Oh, no. When it comes to being saved, you don't go on your feelings. You go on faith and facts. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Watch it. In, watch it. Facts. Mm -hmm. We are covered in Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. For you all, the children of God, by faith, where? In Christ. In Jesus. Christ. Look at there. Amen. Look at verse 28 says what? There is neither Jew. Wait a minute. Verse 28 says what? There is neither Jew nor Greek. Wait a minute. When you get in the church, wait a minute, you, you're Christian. Right. Right. Well, we're black Christian. I don't know. Now, don't come, come talk to my physical. I'm a black Christian. I'm not no black Christian. I'm just a Christian. Right. It don't make no difference if you're black or white. Watch it. Leave that junk over here. All right. We are in Christ. Watch it. And neither fellowship. We are connected mm -hmm. in Christ. Amen. We are, look here. Children of, Christ, of God in Christ. Covered in Christ. Connected with one another. Yes. Amen. Brother, that's why we need to get along. That's right. That's right. We need to learn to get along. That's right. Now, we look at the city council here in Memphis. Mm -hmm. We look at the state government, local government, federal government. Brother, let me tell you something. Don't let that stuff control us. Right. Brother, we don't feud, fuss and fight with one another. We are in Christ. Right. And we're connected with all people. Amen. Let me tell you something. We got some white folk back here to my left here. Amen. I dare somebody to mess with them. Amen. I dare. Amen. Wait, what, you, what you say? I wish, that's my brother and sister back there if they obey the gospel. Amen. You don't have no right. What? Amen. Now you can't handle this if you're not spiritual. Right. See, if you're calm minded, you can't handle it. Right. 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 <laughs> Let me preach like I used to preach. You know the best white people in the world is the one that's obeyed the gospel. Right. Amen. Oh, boy. You know the blessed black people in the world, 
those that obey the gospel. Right. Talk to me somebody. Right. I'm not talking about best in the eyes of men. I'm talking about in the eyesight of God. Right. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Covenant. Look at verse 29. Read it. And if ye be Christ. If, ye be, if you be Christ, if you in Christ, and if you're in the one church of Christ, what? Then are ye Abraham's seed. Abraham's seed. Yes, sir. Watch this, brethren. It's not flesh. No, it's by faith. Mm -hmm. The Jews thought, this is what the Jews people thought. They thought since they were Abraham's seed, that they were automatically saved. Right. Wrong! Yeah. Always have been by faith. Mm -hmm. Abraham, the father of faith. Yes. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Rahab, James chapter 2, she'll say, by faith. Yes, Abraham saved by faith. Yes. If you're saved, you're saved by faith. Yes, Not faith only, but the obedience of faith. Mm -hmm. Abraham see, read. And heirs according to the promise. Wait a minute. You want remission of sin? You gotta be over here. Right, right. Covenant in Christ. How to become a child of God? You got to hear the Lord and obey him. Yes, sir. What do you got to do? You got to hear how Christ Jesus died, was buried, rose again the third day. Mm -hmm. Now somebody think I'm getting ready to finish. I got news for you. I got a long way to go. You hear the gospel and you believe with all your heart. You repent of your sins. Mm -hmm. Confess Christ. You're baptized into Christ yes, for the midst of sin. Is that right? Right. Is that pretty good? good. The Bible says, whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus right. Christ. Is that all right? Peter said in Acts chapter 2, watch it. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the midst of sin. You need to know what in the name means. It's by the authority of Jesus. That's what it means. It means by the authority of Jesus. Now, Peter didn't tell him what to do. He told him what to, he didn't tell him what to say. He told him what to do. Amen. Amen. Now, you hear the gospel, believe it, repent of your sins, confess Christ, and be baptized. And watch this now. When you be baptized, once you come out of the water, what church do you think you become a member? If you think you got to join a church, you, all, you need to be retaught right. because nobody over here, join, you can't join the church. Right. The Bible says they that glad to see the word, Acts 2 and verse 41 and 42, they that glad to see the word were baptized and the same day were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Right. Verse 47 says praising God and having faith with all the people. And the Lord, listen, the Lord added to the church yes, daily such as should be saved. Yes. Wait a minute now. Not to this building. Right. Mm -hmm. He don't add nobody to this building. Right. It's a spiritual thing. He adds you to the spiritual body of Christ. Right. And you know what you say? I'm a member of the body of Christ. Right. Why is it so important to be a member of the body of Christ? Lick your fingers and go to Ephesians 4 and verse number 4. Marcus, you turn Ephesians chapter 1, 22 and 23. Brother Fox, you go to Ephesians 4 and verse 4. What does the Bible say? There is one body. Wait a minute, there's one body. All right, we're going to see what it is. Ephesians 1, 22 and 23 says what? And had put all things under his feet. Read it. And gave him to be the dead over all things to be the, the church. What? Be the dead. Be the what? Be the head. Be the head of, over all, all things, things in the church. Read it. Which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. There's one body. And the body of the church, and there's one body in Christ you're the head of. Right. right? Ephesians, watch it. Ephesians 2.16 says what? Mark, if you go to Ephesians 3.6, 2.16 says what, Brother Fox? And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body. If you go to heaven, you got to be in the one body. Amen. Ephesians 3.6 says what? That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs. And of the same body. Same body. Same one. Right. Everybody got to be in the same church. Right. Right. Wait a minute. Ephesians chapter 2, 5, Brother Fox, and verse number 23 says what? 
Read it. Two, five. Three, five, 23. Five. Ephesians five, 23. Marcus, read it. All right. Read it, Fox. For the husband is the head of the Look wife. Look at that. Husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ also is the head of the church. Read it. And he is the savior of the body. What are you going to say? The body. What? The body. How many are there? One. Which one? It's the same one. Yes, sir. Who bought it? Christ. What did he buy with it? With his blood. Right. Now, question. The church you attend, did the blood of Christ buy? Wait a minute. Do you know the church that we read about in the New Testament is the only one paid for? Yes, sir. The rest of these churches over here, they got mortgages on them. And when Jesus come, he's going to foreclose. You better come out of them. Right. You need to listen. Don't get out. Wait a minute. Don't get mad. Somebody said, he just preached too hard. Man, I'm trying to get you out of the world. Right. You ought to hug my neck. That's why you need to be in the body. Because that's what he's going to say. Amen. The church is his bride. Amen. Romans 1. Amen. Romans 7. 1. Amen. Wait a minute. You don't want to turn that. I'm just quoting it out here. Uh, Revelation 21. 8, the lamb wife. Now when he come back, all, look here, all these women over here, he going to get one woman. That's his wife. Amen. That right? Of all these folks, if this building caught a fire in here, I'm looking for one woman. You got a pretty wife, but she ain't that pretty. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get looking for Sister Janet. Is that right? And Brother Pettis and vice versa, he going to be looking for her if the building catch on. Well, that's good. Christ, when he comes back, one wife. You know what? I got to preach now. Listen to this. Watch this. You watch all these churches. They don't honor Christ. They don't honor Christ at all. They don't honor Christ. Look at they look at they, they start with, with mountains, Mount Nebo, mm -hmm. Mount Zion, Mount Sinai, Christ nowhere. Right, and then they start naming rocks. You know, Rock of Age. That's lead Christ all out. <laughs> then start, hey, man. Amen. Hey, man. Well, somebody said, well, what are you? We are the church of Christ that meets here. This is not the church. We, are. we meet here. What are we called? We're called the church of Christ. What do you mean? That means we belong to Christ. Right. Together we're called the congregation of Christ. And individually we're called Christians. Right. Now listen to this. I am not a church of Christ preacher. I'm a gospel preacher. I am not individually a church of Christ. I'm a Christian. In the body of Christ. You members of the Church of Christ need to stop saying, I'm Church of Christ. No, you're not Church of Christ. You're a Christian in the body of Christ. Talk to me, somebody. You got it? Now, the church can be called anything that the New Testament called. It's called the Churches of Christ, Romans 16, 16. It's called the Church, Acts 2 and verse 47. It's called a household of faith, uh, Galatians chapter uh, 2, uh, Galatians 6, and verse number 2. It's called the Church of God. Is right, is right. It's called the kingdom of God's dear son. You got it? Are you listening? Anything that the New Testament calls this church, you can call it there. But what it doesn't call it, you can't call it. You cannot nickname the Lord's church. It was never called Presbyterian, Methodist, Catholic, Pentecostal, and Dog. None of that. Whatever the New Testament calls the church, you can call it. It's just a scripture to call us, we belong to the church of God. Amen. And we do. Amen. But you need to understand that it's different from this church of God over here that got mechanical instruments and music. Paul wrote to the church at Corinth. He said unto the church of God at Corinth. Amen. But Paul also said in 1 Corinthians 12 and verse number 27, now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. Is there a contradiction? No. Whoever had blood, that's who belonged to the church belonged to. Amen. Now, how do you get in? Faith, repentance, confession, baptism into Christ. Now, you got to repent of your sin. What do you mean? If you're in some denomination not in the Bible, you got to come out of it. You say, well, I don't want to come out. You're going to be lost, too. But 
I'm just telling you point blank. I just don't like no preaching like that. I want somebody to just ease it up on. I am not easing nothing up on you. I'm telling you, if you right. die over here, you're going to be lost eternally. Right. Are you saying that the church folks in the church of Christ is the only one going to heaven? No. Only one got a chance. Right. All of them ain't going. Right. Hey, man. Hey, man, Walt. Man. It all right? Hey, man. All right. Now, let's stop here. That's good. Now, we got to start preaching. When I say we must live better than the world. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Members of the Church of Christ at James Road, you need to listen. We Christians in the body of Christ must live better than the world. Look at Romans. Romans 2.19, read it, Brother Fox. And art confident, read it. confident that thou thyself art a guide of the blind. Read it. A light of them which are in darkness. Read. An instructor of the foolish. Wait a minute. Here we are over here. We're trying to teach these folks over here. But watch Paul, how he deals with the Romans, what they thought they could do. Uh, with the Jews. Read it. A teacher of babes, Read. which has a form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Read. Thou therefore which teaches another, teaches thou thyself. Read it. That thou preachest a man should not steal, does thou steal. Wait a minute. Members of the church, we tell the folks in the world, right. y'all shouldn't steal, do we steal? All right. mm. Read it. Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, does thou commit adultery? You're telling Satan's children, y'all don't need to be committing adultery, shacking up. Uh -huh. Are y'all doing that over here? All right. Well, wait a minute. Now watch this then. Do you think because God has blessed you to obey the gospel, and these folks hadn't obeyed the gospel, watch it. They're living in adultery, and you living in adultery. Do you think they're going to hell and you're going to heaven? Do you really think that? No. Do you really think that? A lot of members of Church of Christ believe because they're over here. I can live in the way I want to live. You missed it. God going to burn your high. He going to set a fire to you. A lot of members of the Church of Christ don't know that. That's why you have to preach like this, Mike. Read it. Thou that abhorrest idols, does thou but commit that's, sacrilege? That's enough. That's enough there. We, we, we got so much to do here. Is that all right? Look at Romans 6.12. Quickly, Marcus. Romans 6.12. Read it. Let not sin, therefore, reign in your mortal body. Wait a, wait a minute. Hold it. Brother, when we obey the gospel, that doesn't mean that we're not going to sin. But we can't live a life of sin. You just can't keep on sinning, 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 sinning. Like some members of church, you got some members of church cry. They doing it. It's something right in here, All right. and I'm working on you too. All right. I'm talking to members of the church cry. I'm right. I, listen here. I got the number of your house. Right. I got your house. I'm coming right down your avenue. Right. You got some members of the church of Christ live worse than these folks over here. Amen. Then have the audacity to tell them about what the Bible say, and you doing the same thing you're doing with them. Right. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Read it. Let not sin therefore reign in your body, Read reign it. in your mortal body, Read that it. ye should obey it in the in the lust of in the lust thereof. Read it. Not to yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna let him read. Look at verse number seventeen. Read it. 
But God be thanked. Wait a minute. No, go back to verse number. Uh, I think it's number. No, look at uh, how verse 15 says what? What then? What? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? Wait, well, we're not under the law of Moses. Shall we sin? Right. What did he say? But under no. grace. No. Read it. God forbid. God forbid. Read it. Know ye not what? that to whom ye yield yourselves servants Ooh, to obey. Wait, wait a minute. This is when the children of God begin to act like children of the devil. Right. That's what's wrong with churches of Christ now. Amen. We got young people who want to be in the world. Right. I'm dragging low now. Mm -hmm. A lot of members of the church of Christ, young folks, they put tattoos all over themselves. They want to be like the world. Amen. You see them with the earrings, they everything. They want to be like the world. I tell you what, keep on playing it. You'll be out there before you know it and going to hell too. Amen. Wait a minute. A lot of members of the church of Christ are going to keep hell burning. A lot of them do it. A lot of them, some of them right here, do all kinds of crazy stuff. And the parents look at them, grandparents look at them, won't say nothing to them. I'll see how quiet it done got. It's going to get real quiet. God doesn't play. You want to condemn the world, you don't have to condemn. They condemn themselves. But look at yourself. Right. Read it, Brother Fox. Know ye not to whom ye yield your servants, sell servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey. Wait a minute, if you're going to do what the devil say, you become a servant of the devil. Right. I'm talking to members of the Church of Christ. Right. Read it. Whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Right, let's stop now. Let's get an Old Testament example. This is going to be real good here. You're going to really like this. Look at the book of Jeremiah 35, verse number one there, Brother Fox. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. All this is going to help you out here. Oh, isn't this good preaching? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good preaching. Now, a camera, camera person told me, Brother Samuel, you're going to preach more than an hour. I thought, I thought they were wrong. I think they're right. <laughs> hey, but you're enjoying it. See, y'all telling me, get it, preach it. Tell me to preach it. Amen. Jeremiah 35. Is it all right? Man. Everybody there? Jeremiah 35. All right, Brother Fox. You Jeremiah 35? Yes, sir. All right, Brother Fox. Uh, let's look at uh, verse number. Uh, let's look at Brother Fox. I think we'll uh, look at verse number six. No, look, look, look at verse number five. Read it. And I said before the sons of the house of the Rechabites. Wait a minute. Hold it. See, these Rechabites, they wasn't Jews. Wait a minute. Who? Listen. See, Judah, God's people. Jeremiah was writing to Judah, right, yeah. preaching to them. Mm -hmm. And what he does is switch and use the heathen folks to try to get God's people to straighten up. Right. Now, I'm going to read this to try to get us to straighten up. Amen. Make an application. Yes, sir. Now, read it, Brother Fox. Pots full of wine read. and cups. Read. And I said unto them, what? drink ye wine. Read. But they said, we will drink no wine. Read it. For Jonadab, the son of Rachel, our father commanded us, saying, we should not drink no, no wine, neither ye nor your sons forever. Oh, he was a heathen. Right. Wasn't God's people right. said he taught his boys not to drink wine. Right. They wasn't God's people. Right. Drop down to verse 14. Yeah. Read it. Jeremiah is telling them about this man. Yeah. Read it. The words of Jonadab, the son of Rachel. Read it. That he commanded his sons not to drink wine are performed for unto this day. Read it. He, they drink none, but obey their father's commandment. Notwithstanding, I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but ye hearken not unto me. Look here. The people in the world acting better than folks in the body of Christ. Right. Right. Wait a minute. There's some people over here. That's the devil children spiritually. They don't cry, stir up junk. Right. Yeah. You got a lot of members of the church of Christ. They just stir up stuff all the time. Right. Stirring up steam. 
They here now. Can't get along with them. Oh, I'm preaching now. Can't get along with nobody. In call yourself a member of the body of Christ. Your folks in the world can't get along with you, you so bad. Do that. We got young girls and young boys here. They act just like people in the world. Right. You know what? It's not going to get hot. Amen. Young women over here. I know young women over here wouldn't dare have children out of wedlock. I know women over here, they wouldn't dare shack up with no man not married. Right. And here we come over here getting all this good teaching and you still shacking. All right. You're going to go to hell too. Amen. If you don't <laughs> repent of your sin, I'm telling you point blank. And some of you looking down. You need to look down. You need to look up and repent. I'm working on you. Just feuding, fussing, and fighting. Amen. To try to tear the church up. Folks over there, some of them don't act that bad. Come here to worship and won't even speak to one another. Always got some negative. To run by somebody. Oh, I'm preaching now. Amen. That's right. You, don't you fool yourself if you think. Wait a minute. A lot of times the reason we don't have a lot of material blessings is because we won't try to outlive these people. Right. You, uh, amen. And they'll tell you, so child, I don't do what you're doing. You let your kids just rip and run, tear up the things, tear up the schools. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm preaching now. Right. I'm preaching to everybody now. Right. That's right. That's right. That's good, Is that right? Man. We need to drop that mess. Right. Start outliving these people in the world. Right. We smoke cigarettes, right. drink beer. I said, amen. 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 Right. Sometimes I hug some of the men and women, they, they smell like camel. <laughs> Not like an old camel, boy. Right. They love cigarettes. They eat up cigarettes. <laughs> and I ain't got no money paying five dollars a pack for a cigarette. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You say, well, you know, I can't pay my utility bill. Well, your utility bill going up in the air. Right. You know? Amen. That's good. Right. Is that right? right? Can't hardly educate your kids. Your kids' education and clothes are going up in there. Amen. Cut down on that smoking, you can have something. Amen. Amen. If you don't have no money, that's good. If you smoke cigarettes and you don't have no money, I hope you don't ever get any money. <laughs> because you don't know what to do with it. You just might well take the $5 and just get you a match and just burn it. That's what you're doing anyway. Right. You'd be better off by just burning that because when you're smoking and you're burning, and by the way, People that really don't smoke cigarettes, cigarette smoke is the sucker on the end. <laughs> cigarettes, cigarettes is the one that smoke. It's the sucker on the end. <laughs> Preach, brother Santa. Oh yeah, you got it. Hey, you got it. Hey, man, you. Hey, man, it's the sucker. It's the sucker. Any suckers in here? <laughs> well, brother Santa, no, I'm just trying to help you. You could find better things to do with that with your money. But if you want to smoke cigarettes, I'm not going to condemn you. That's your business. But when your health started failing you, don't listen to it. Well, man, you're yeah, okay. But I, I, hey, hey, man. That's pretty good. Now watch, watch what God did for these people. Look at verse 19. Read it. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, what? the God of Israel, read it. Jonadab, the son of Rechab, read it. shall not want a man to stand before me forever. When you read verse uh, 18, 19, God blessed these people. He blessed them materially. Why? Because they did what was right. Sometimes people in the world look like they prosper more than God's people. Why? Because they want to do right and we won't. Amen. 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 Oh, that's enough. I just got a signal. It's time to quit. Is that all right? Amen. Gotta get that preaching time in. Amen. We gotta outlive the world. 
Amen. Amen. We got out of the little world. Is that pretty good? Yes, sir. Uh, you trying to convert somebody to Christ, you better go to them straight. Amen. Because they see a little flaw in you, they're going to laugh at you. Amen. 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 Are you listening to me? Sure, we worship right. Sure, we're in the right church. But listen here, we got the right doctrine. We know the Bible is right. If we go to live in it, we can take Memphis. Right. We can take Memphis and we start living it. That's right. Not what you say, it's what you do. Right. Everybody is somebody's child. Amen. Anybody here need to obey the gospel? Amen. And let me tell you here, you may be a new convert. Well, Brother Shannon, I didn't know all that was going on in the church of Christ. I just obeyed the gospel. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. You can get a job anywhere in the world, in the military, and not in the military. You're going to have some folks in the military that's doing right and some that's doing wrong. If you want to retire in the military, you just do right. You got it? That's the way it is at FedEx. You got folks at FedEx going to do their job and going to do right. Some of them not going to ever do right. They're going to get fired too. You're going to find some folks in the Church of Christ that's going to do right. Some of them not going to do right. Now, don't you leave the church because you see one over there that's not doing right. That's from the preacher, elders, deacon, everybody. Follow Jesus at his word.